Now, we all accidentally swallow unintended things from time to time. Ice cubes, gum, even whole pieces of candy. And we ingest small seeds from fruit too, like the seeds from strawberries or blackberries. We should stop doing that, right? Eh. But what would happen to your body if you swallowed a whole pit, like from a cherry? Follow me. First, let's take a short walk through the digestive system. It starts when you chew your food and swallow. Your food is helped down your throat by your saliva, which has enzymes in it that help break it down. Muscles in your esophagus help carry the food to your stomach. Your stomach moves the food around, using more enzymes and acids to break it down into smaller particles. Then our liver uses bile to break it down even more. Finally, it moves through the small intestine, where it's separated into what the body needs and what it doesn't. Whew! Food has a long journey before our body can get what it needs. Now, let's look at what you should know when you swallow something that your digestive system doesn't expect, like a cherry pit. 1. Cherry pits are indigestible. Ah, uh, don't worry, you'll be fine. The pit will pass through your digestive system, but it'll stay whole. Remember those enzymes and digestive juices I mentioned? They aren't able to break down something like a cherry pit. When it gets to your intestines, they'll just say, we don't need this, and the pit will be, um, shown the door. 2. Will swallowing the pit give me stomach discomfort? The pit may be uncomfortable to swallow, but you probably won't get a stomach ache. You may feel some symptoms of indigestion if you have a pre-existing stomach condition. In general, the pit should pass through pretty easily, especially if you've eaten other food recently. There are other indigestible or hard-to-digest foods that we eat all the time, like corn, beans, and seeds, that don't give us too many problems. The hard work of the digestive system knows what to do. 3. Never eat the seeds. Cherries belong to a group of fruits called stone fruit. Other fruits in this category include peaches, mangoes, and apricots. Fruits belonging to this group all have a pit in the middle, and this pit holds the seeds. The shell of the pit is indigestible, but if you break it open and chew and swallow the seeds, then you might be in trouble. The seeds of stone fruit contain cyanide, which could quickly put you in the hospital. 4. What is cyanide? Glad you asked. It can be a gas, but it's also a salt, a highly toxic one. It comes in several compounds, but the one found in the seeds of stone fruits, like cherries, is hydrogen cyanide, which binds with the natural sugars in these fruits. This substance is manufactured on an industrial scale to make plastics, metals, paints, and synthetic fibers. Those working with it must take a lot of safety precautions, such as wearing an oxygen mask and other protective gear due to my body. Well, it's not good. Within minutes, you'd have symptoms like headache, dizziness, and weakness. Every organ in your body uses oxygen from cells to work properly. Cyanide would bind with enzymes in our tissues to stop this process. In other words, our major organs would stop getting oxygen and shut down. Don't worry, the good news is that there's an antidote. It's called hydroxocobalamin. This compound turns cyanide into a substance that can be removed from the body by the kidneys. Have you ever swallowed the seeds from a stone fruit and experienced these symptoms? Ooh, let me know in the comments. Number 6. Would I survive? I would. I just don't know about you. <laughs> no, seriously. If you think you've chewed and swallowed some seeds from a cherry pit or other stone fruit, and you get medical attention ASAP, you'll survive. The ingestion of cyanide is still dangerous, but not quite as dangerous as it is when it's inhaled in its gas form. Uh, don't do that. If it's ingested, you still have plenty of time to get medical attention. Hours, in fact. But that doesn't mean you should wait. The faster you seek medical attention and get that antidote, the better your body will be able to recover. 7. Are there any other foods that contain cyanide? Well, plants, including many that we utilize as a food source, develop these compounds that contain cyanide as a natural defense against insects. Besides the fruits in the stone fruit group I mentioned, watch out for lima beans, cassava roots, and bamboo shoots. They need to be fully cooked before eating. Don't forget that apples also contain seeds, even though they don't have a pit, and these contain cyanide too. 
Also, bitter apricot pits, also known as kernels, contain the highest amount of cyanide in the stone fruit group. 8. Precautions Now, if you're munching on a bag of delicious cherries, try to remember to spit out those pits. Keep a small dish beside you or a trash can. Chew the fruit around the pit slowly. Even though that outside shell is indigestible, it's better to be safe than sorry. As a general rule, never chew or swallow any kind of pit or kernel. Swallowing pits presents a choking hazard too. Also, be careful of how you dispose of the pits if you have pets. Pits and seeds from stone fruits are toxic to some animals too. Now, don't go around being afraid of cherries or refusing to eat them. To put cherries back on your good list, here are some fun facts. We've been eating cherries since the Stone Age. Fossilized cherry pits have been discovered in prehistoric caves in Asia and Europe. The Greek author, Theophrastus, wrote about cherries in his History of Plants in 300 BC, noting them for their help in getting rid of excess salts in the body. Now, the cherries we eat today came to America in the 1600s, brought over by Europeans. Back then, they were mostly used in pemmican, a delicious meat dish that uses both pounded and dry meat, melted fat, and other ingredients like cherries to give it a sophisticated burst of flavor. There are more than 1,000 varieties of cherries. There are sweet ones and tart ones, about 500 of each. But we only eat about 20 varieties or so, so not all cherries are in mass production. In the US, cherries only come from a few states. Michigan grows the majority of tart cherries. Washington grows 62% of the sweet cherries, helped by California and Oregon. These sweet cherries are the ones that are so popular to eat during the summertime. Just remember to spit out those pits. Turkey is the world's leader in the mass production of cherries, giving us 335,000 tons of cherries each year. And you won't believe the simple, ingenious way they're harvested. Farmers use a big mechanical grip, which shakes the tree and loosens the cherries. The average cherry tree grows about 7,000 cherries. That's enough for grandma to make 28 cherry pies. Hmm, let's do the math. Uh, let's not. Cherries are loaded with a lot of stuff that's good for you, like antioxidants and essential vitamins. Naturally, sweet cherries will fix that sweet tooth and are low in calories, so they're a great healthy snack. They can also be used in cooking to give your meal a healthy boost. Despite the name, the Japanese cherry tree isn't famous for its cherries. It's known for its gorgeous buds and their amazing smell. It's considered the national flower of Japan and represents empathy, beauty, and acceptance of destiny. Canada gets credit for baking the biggest cherry pie in the world, which weighed nearly 40,000 pounds. They still hold that record to this day, which was previously held by Traverse City, Michigan. While they don't hold the record for the biggest cherry pie anymore, Traverse City still holds an annual National Cherry Festival since 1925. The festival celebrates all things cherry for two days with cherry-themed food, pie-eating contests, a cherry pit spitting contest – hey, sign me up – and more. They even crown a cherry queen. Back in Roman times, cherries were part of the soldiers' food rations. As they were marching along, the soldiers would spit out the pits, essentially planting a new cherry tree. They eventually spread throughout the entire Roman Empire. The record for a cherry pit spitting contest is 93 feet. Set by Brian Krause in 2004, a cherry pit spitting contest is held every year in Eau Claire, Michigan. I can't think of a better reminder for you to spit out those pits. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just chick, just chick, just click to the left or right, and remember, spit out those pits and stay on the bright side of life.